What really inspires us for Cassidy is her strength of leadership skills and her absolute refusal to accept indifference. She's also active in each pillar of our focus areas, which are community, environment, and education. Cassidy's Club 120 is truly amazing. It is hard enough to put together 10 to 15 ideas, let alone 120 different ones to engage and inspire everyone around her. She has shown incredible diversity and also the willingness to take on some of the tough issues such as mental health in her peer group. She is truly remarkable. One thing Cassidy teaches us is to start somewhere. You don't have to solve everything in a day. One small act of kindness will easily lead to the next and each experience will allow you to grow as a person and it's a win-win for everyone involved. You will get back so much more than you give. I think that it really started when my parents told me that we needed to volunteer and I said okay. So I think I was 10 years old and we were at the mustard seed just filling socks. Uh, and at that point I didn't really know what it was and I didn't realize what I was doing. It was mom told me to volunteer so I did. But each year we had to do something. And then slowly as we got older, um, my sister and I, we were able to pick where we wanted to volunteer and what we wanted to do. And so then ever since then we've just been building on that. I met Cassidy first time last year in May, so May 2012, and she was applying as a summer student with Sierra Club. She was the youngest of all our applicants, but she just blew us away. I really value my work at the Sierra Club because it is very focused on the environment. What stands out for me about Cassidy is her positive nature. She's very excited about everything she's doing. Because she's so passionate about everything, you just can't stop it feel the same way. Volunteering is really important to me because uh, it's a way for me to learn new things uh, but also it's a way that I can help somebody else out. I mean I'm a student so I can't really help people out financially but I can give my time and I realize that that's almost just as valuable. Club 20 is Cassidy's kind of personal nonprofit, and the goal of Club 20 is that within one school year there are 120 projects that Cassidy and her peers are undertaking. And they range from picking up litter in the schoolyard to participating in the Mayor's Youth Council and having a survey about mental illness among youth. We're making 120 improvements to our surroundings with students leading the initiatives that matter most to them. The one that really stands out for me is Fresh Face Fridays. And so what we have is girls are not wearing makeup to school on Fridays to prove that they're beautiful without makeup and to quit objectifying themselves with cosmetics. Uh, we also got recycling bins in our hallways, which is fantastic because Beaverbrook didn't have recycling bins. Um, so this is really cool because now we're actually able to use the refund for um, grant money, essentially, for new projects in the school. At the end of the year, I'm hosting a conference with high school students uh, from all over the city. And I'm just going to tell them about Club 120 and what we did and where you can take it and where your peers can take it. Ideally, I'd like to see Club 120 in every elementary, junior high and high school across Canada. I think Cassidy's leadership comes from a deep passion for sustainability and improving the world around her. And she leads, mostly I think she leads by example. Volunteerism has done a lot for me and so I want to show other students that it can do that for them too, they just need to figure out where. My definition of leadership is empowering others to do something they care about. And so every day I try and be the face of my own definition.